So you might be in this weird situation where for some reason the Wi-Fi connection that you're trying to connect to on your particular iPhone is not showing up inside of your iPhone settings. Now, this can happen for a lot of different reasons. The very, very first thing I recommend doing though is making sure that within your settings application, you have your you know, Wi-Fi connection and everything properly shown up and you're in the area of your Wi-Fi connection. So if I click on Wi-Fi here and if I didn't see that connection that I'm trying to connect to or whatever, the first thing I wanna do is move into the area of where that Wi-Fi connection is. Sometimes that Wi-Fi connection may not be properly where I'm actually at. So that is the first thing I recommend doing, just making sure that I'm actually in the area that I'm in where that Wi-Fi connection is in, number one. Now, number two, the next thing I wanna do is I just wanna make sure that that Wi-Fi router and everything is properly on. If the Wi-Fi devices around me have that, you know, are connected to the Wi-Fi, but for some reason my phone is not discovering it, you may wanna make sure that that Wi-Fi connection doesn't have too many authorized people on it. Sometimes if your Wi-Fi router has too many people on it in the first place, that can be another problem that you may want to look into. So double check that and you may want to make sure that's not a problem. You can also try restarting your iPhone. So hold down the buttons to restart your device, slide the power off your particular iPhone, and give it a few seconds and you want to go and power back on and you want to see if that ends up fixing the problem too. And like I said, for a ton of people, that might be all you're going to have to do as well. Now if you do that and that's still not working, you may want to go and temporarily connect to a different Wi-Fi connection. So if you can go to a McDonald's or a Starbucks or something, connect to that Wi-Fi for the you know, time being, go inside of your settings application, go inside of general, go inside of software update. And what I'd recommend doing here is basically software updating your iPhone. And if there is an update available, just update to the latest version of software and that could end up fixing the problem for you as well. So those are a few ways to go and fix the problem for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.